It's early 2018 and Cranes Etc. is back at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. Also back at the Toy Fair this year with their own stand is Techno. And as you would expect they have plenty of truck models on display. One model which was interesting was this one-off special with lots of LED lights fitted. But if you want one, expect it to be expensive. On display in prototype form were a number of new trailers. And there was also something a little bit more unusual. And that was this 1 to 32 scale Nick Mops mini shovel. IMC models was not at the Toy Fair this year because the models they're working on are not ready to be announced. But their lead pair RL66 pipe player should be out in March. One company very much at the Toy Fair with things to show was Diecast Masters. So here we are at the Diecast Masters stand and there's plenty of new things to look at here this year. And I've got class with me who's going to tell us about some of the new things. Would you like to start us with, with this item? Thank you, yes, of course I want. Uh, we got the new Evolution series, which is uh, telling the history to the nowadays models. We got a very cl clean, nice box with a lot of pictures and explanation of the box, uh, of the models. And but the inside is of course much better because in the box you will find the book telling you the history of the early models until what you find now. So this, this looks really nice quality actually because you can see that some of the photos of the old machines really are well worth looking at. So if you're an interested collector in this kind of machine, there's lots of really interesting detail that tells the story that this whole presentation is trying to do. And in the box, beside, uh, except of the booklet, you will find our new models in a very nice presentation. And all that's on a base which you can pull out of the box? I can take it out and you can place it solo. So you can display it that way too. So that's kind of a really interesting idea of how to display and collect the old and the new of a particular type of machine. So new up we have a, an excavator class, can you tell us about this? The new CAT 349F version, the new quite big 49 tons excavator uh, has been accepted by the public here in a very positive way. Uh, you will see all the details of the, what an excavator nowadays can have with nice white metal tracks, with the old details with the hoses and the metal railings. So I think we have a very nice and good product. So now we're getting to the heavy end of the business with a couple of big dozers. So these look impressive and tough. Yeah, we have the CAT, the CAT D11T here in the versions which has been far, far away upgraded comparing to the previous uh, CAT D11T we had. And uh, one new thing you see, the perforated blades we are using now. Now the CAT D11 has opening doors to, uh, to give a view on the engines. And this on both sides, both models will have. Uh, the one is the carry dozer and this is the regular version. Uh, the carry dozer includes the wide tracks and the different blade. It is a beautiful model, Bovar, and it is, uh, the reviews are very good. So when will these be available? This will be um, September about. Okay, so a few months to wait. Yeah. So here is the kind of surprise of the show, I think, as far as Diecast Masters are concerned. And we've got some prototypes of some trucks which weren't expected. Uh, what can you tell us about this class? Yeah, Diecast Masters got a license agreement with the US company International and started to set up the trucks because we need low beds for our construction material. Um, we got two types, we got the AX International AX520 and we got the AX620. Uh, the differences you will see in the, in the cabins, we will make various models, we will make a dumper, we will make a mixer, we will have a tandem uh, free axle and we will have a four axle uh, 
tractors and have a look to the trailers. So these are quite interesting because the deck has the pre camber on. You can see that in the prototype that you've actually got that, that shaped yeah. deck. So that's so quite So we can good. have a good load on it. Yeah. <laughs> so what, uh, what's the rough, very rough time scales you think for these two? It will be in the third quarter. Uh, so later uh, this year. September, October, we hope to have everything being ready for shipment. Yeah, and do you hope or, or do you intend to sell these separately or with loads or how, how do you think? It will be a mixture. So we will have uh, some solo cars, so, um, but we will have with loads too, and maybe we will have with several decos. But okay. it's not decided yet. Yeah, because okay, so that's uh, certainly something unexpected and interesting to look forward to. Thank you very much, Klaus. Thank you. Thank you. Ian. At last year's Toy Fair, AT Collections were showing some prototypes of some Volvo models in 1 to 32 scale. Things have moved on, and here we can see the first models are ready for release. And there was a metal sample available of a small wheeled loader. It was interesting to see that there are more planned models in 1 to 32 scale. And that includes some different brands also Liebherr, Notabome, and Atlas. And of course, who can overlook the Lily Astronaut A4 milking robot? We go back down and almost down under to 150 scale and Drake Collectibles. So I'm at the Toy Fair 2018 and I'm with Bruce Hay of Drake Collectibles. First thing I noticed, uh, Bruce, is you're all toffed up there in a suit. So how's the job interviews going? Have you got any offers yet? Yes, look, this was all part of our takeover bit of the world, Ian. So, um, yeah, put the resumes out there. but. Uh, just to show that Australians do have some culture as well. Okay, well I wish you luck with that. <laughs> um, it's uh, that time when I'm pleased to be able to give you an award which is the Cranes Etc Innovation Award for 2017 and that's awarded to you because of the app that you produced hmm. which uh, if people haven't seen that, that's an app that collectors can use and perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about the app and what it does. Okay, yeah look, the, the concept of the app is it's your own little pocket Drake Bible. Uh, everything that we've ever produced is in on the app. It's got all the original specifications, the original approved photos, details, how much it was when it was sold, how many was produced. So in your pocket you've got a complete history of Drake collectibles. So well done and there's the award for you. Yeah, well, thank you very much Ian. This will go in the cabinet with the few others we've got. It's, it's really good to get uh, recognition from someone like yourself who's such an expert Yep. in in diecast. Yeah, yeah. When I when I talk to people about what, Ian what? Webb, I say he's like the Gordon Ramsay or the Jeremy Clarkson of diecast models. So there's no need to be insulting. <laughs> so you've got some new things to show us, uh, Bruce. What have you got? Yes, Ian. Look, what we've got in the shelf here is we've got our our first release of the designated heavy haulage K200 truck. This truck is probably about 75% new tooling. It's the existing cab, but it's got a new chassis, mud guards, stone guards, dual exhaust, air cleaners, spoilers, and the good old Aussie bull bar up in the front. Now, the first release of these has come out. There's six colours. They're selling very quickly in Australia. They're a lot more popular and performing a lot better in Australia than your Ashes cricket team did do. But uh, this is the first release of them and there will be uh, another follow-up release with a few more iconic Australian liveries and a few more of the popular colours that Drake have been releasing over the years. Okay, so these models are available now or very soon? They're, they're halfway through production, so they'll be shipping and they'll be in Australia probably the end of March. Okay, and what else have we got? Okay, well up on the top shelf here we have the first uh, of, the tr of the freighter scales. This is a, a B-double set and uh, we'll take the uh, WSI containers. So they're coming out, uh, they're following into production and uh, we'll be in a few iconic Australian liveries and uh, a few plain colours and we will have Australian containers with branding to go with them of some heavy haulage companies plus quite a few uh, component suppliers and things. So will the model be sold without a container, then you buy what you want, or will it come with containers? No, it'll be sold without containers, and then you can buy the containers to one. suit. And when, when do we see that uh, being available? Probably May. Uh, we also have, uh, in production, leaving the factory shortly, the third release of our very popular freighter A and B trailer B double sets and the road train sets. Uh, there's a couple of them, this is a 100 release, one of Higgs Heavy Haulage, it's part of our fleet series, 
comes with a numbered certificate mm -hmm. and signed by the owner. There's uh, there's a red one. Up the top here, you also see there's the black bling, bling one. It's got the chrome gates and the chrome mud guards, and it's the fancy sort of truck. Okay, so that's... Uh all looks like some good stuff to look forward to this year. There's yep. got more in the works, hopefully. Yeah, well, if you, if you have a look at this Volvo up the front here, uh, that's a WSI model, but if you tune in on the front of it, it has a bull bar on it. So Drake have five Volvos currently in production, uh, Australian trucks, bull bar, right-hand drive, one plain white one, and four very popular Australian liveries. So uh, there's no coincidence that suddenly on the Drake website you can buy yellow low loaders and red and white low loaders. So I can't actually announce the names just yet, but there's a good hint. OK, very good. So uh, all in all, things seem to be going quite well for you. How has it gone in the last year? Yeah, look, uh, last year was really good. We keep uh, expanding and growing. This year is a very big year for Drake. This is Drake's 60th year. There's a very special model coming for that, um, which will be a big hit. Uh, we have some big announcements this year, later on in the year, so uh, make some space in your cabinets because there'll be some good stuff. We've got a, a couple of new Kenworth tricks up our sleeve. We're currently investing in a, in a fair bit of Kenworth tooling, and uh, you never know what other truck brands might pop up. Very good. So it's all very interesting from Drake Collectibles. Thanks, Bruce. No worries. Thank you. Also displaying at the Toy Fair this year was NZG Models. Last year they produced their big 1 to 18 scale Mercedes-Benz Actros tractor. And this year there's a prototype trailer and container to go with it. The trailer will be modified for single tyres rather than the doubles used here. And the credit card gives you a feeling for the size of this model. It also tells you there's a lot of metal in this model so you'll need a credit card to pay for it. Back in 1 to 50 scale there were relatively fewer new releases. There's a new Ham 3411 roller. And something unusual is this Turkish Ima mixer drum mounted on an MAN chassis. In terms of limited editions there was this nice looking Varbud truck mixer. And perhaps the star of the show in terms of impressive models was this Liebherr LR 1600 in the colours of Salons. This is a limited edition of 300 models and looks like it will sell out quickly. Outside of the Toy Fair we paid our usual visit to Conrad Models. So it's 2018 and we're back at uh, Conrad's factory here just outside Nuremberg and I'm with Christine Conrad and we'll have a look through the uh, new models that are coming out uh, now. Uh, so Christine, uh, welcome, thank you for inviting us back to the factory you're not at the toy fair again this year so no we decided to stay here in our premises again thank uh, you very much for coming yeah, it's always nice to come here and um you always look after us so that's good um so we've got two interesting models to start with which are foundation machines we look like we've got one that uh has an auger it does uh, board piles and we've got one that is like uh, the old abi mobile realm of years gone by which is for sheet piling so these are quite nice models. What, what can you tell us about these? So these models were produced for uh, IBE company last year. Um, and we have um, made this one in a different color scheme. So this one is available from us in the um, blue and gray color scheme. Um, while this one is now shown here in red, which is exclusively made for IBE and will come in a different color by Conrad. Okay. So these are finished models? These are finished uh, models. And, and you've delivered them to your, your customer? Yes. When will the collectors be able to? Um, this one them? is available right now. Okay. So this one is available for the collectors and um, this one will be available uh, spring. Okay. This one is um, a kind of a, a reworking, a, a, almost a totally new model of one that you did maybe, I don't know, 15 years ago? I don't know how long ago it was. Uh, it was a long time ago. A long time ago? Yes, it was uh, around the um, change of century. Yeah, so... So, um, yeah, 18 years ago, 20 years ago. And the, and the original one came with an extension set, or you could get an extension set for it. Yes, and the extension set also fits here. So okay. um, people having the extension set, they can... Still, still fit it put on, it on the model. Okay, so that's that's nice. So there were some changes about the tracks before. You know, you had the rubber tracks, which was um, 
good for that time, but it's not good for this time anymore. Um, so these are metal? So these are metal tracks. Uh, this one has an extendable undercarriage, um, yep. as you can see. It works. Um, here you can take off the handrails um, so you can make it in transportation mode. Um, the back has changed, the sides have changed. Um, there's a different uh, letter on this side, so on here you can um, exit differently. So there are some uh, some quite changes and this model is mm. completely new designed. Mm. Mm. So we're in your ballroom here, um, so when you're in the ballroom do you just uh, play with these models all day? You just have them all on the table and play with them, is that is that what you do? So usually I'm not inside here, I'm usually in my office. Okay. Um, when I come here then I come here to eat. Okay. Right, so that's the first two new models, are they good? What's, uh, what else do you have? What's next? This model should be familiar to um, many collectors already with a different boom, um, which we did uh, or introduced last year. So um, some companies um, ask if it is not possible to have that with the um, offset boom, mm -hmm. or two-piece boom. Um, so we decided, um, yes, for a compact excavator it is um, makes sense to have this boom configuration and we decided to bring it to the market in that way. Okay. And is this one available? This no. one is available already straight ahead. Okay. So when collectors are interested, they can go to their uh, local dealer or order it directly okay. for them. I might just put that in my pocket on the way out. Okay, okay. what's what's next? So another model what we produced um during last year for a new company or a new customer, mm. this customer uh, Sifa mm. from Italy, and um, it's a, a concrete pump mixing machine. So you've got um, a placing boom on. The, the, this kind of machine in real life isn't seen that often, but um, but it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice model. It's got the, a fully articulated boom, which, which seems to work well. And obviously it folds up, so it can go into a, a transport mode. And this is delivered to the customer. Sifa has this now. Yes. Okay. And it's on a what? Aux. Aux. Uh... Compact space. Yeah. So as the the new machines usually get facelift by the OEMs, mm -hmm. um, we were also asked uh, to implement the facelift on this mobile crane. So this means there is the the new cabin design here, and also the. Um, uh, undercarriage cabin or driver's cabin has a different bumper style um, so this was the main changes on this model and this model is also available straight ahead okay so this will be in the leap hair shop very soon if it's not already there yeah. yes okay do you think this one will come out in some different colors maybe or maybe 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 you never can tell what else do we have? Another model which was uh, produced last year and delivered to um, Wolf Crown is a new um, laughing chip crane mm -hmm. in scale 187. So it's a, a very detailed model um, in the 187 scale. Um, it's a very nice model. Um, I like it a lot. What comes also, or um, what collectors also can buy with the model, is an extension kit um, to change the configuration to the um, US version. It's quite a few years since you did a, a crane for Wolfgang, isn't it? You, you did one... Um, oh. We did a model very, very, very long time ago. Yeah. Um, I think it was when... Um, it was still under the man name, so yes, yeah, and then changed to Wolfcon, and um, yeah, after a long time, we are happy to produce model it's again. It's nice that a customer comes back, I think, isn't it? Because they, you know, they might go away to a different manufacturer, but they they come back. Yes, so there good. are more and more customers coming back. You know, for example, RBE didn't have models for a long time, but yes. they didn't have models for a long time in general, and then now we are allowed to make models again for Wolfcon, which. Which is good for you. Which is good for us, and um, I think the models are also very nice for the collectors. Okay, that's good. Um, looking ahead, I think uh, I saw on uh, Cobelco's uh, blog that you're doing a model for them later this year. Um, there will be a Cobelco model coming for Intermod, made by Conrad. And that's a, an excavator, yes. so, so we've got that to look forward to. 
Um, obviously, you can't say about what other new models you may have, but will you have more coming later on this year that might be, you think, interesting? Most probably. Most probably. Well, we'll look forward to that. So thank you very much, Christine, for talking us through your new releases today. And um, we thank look forward... you for your time and uh, the interview. Thank you. We we'll look forward to what comes for the rest of the year. Back at the Toy Fair, Marge Models is another maker working in 1 to 32 scale. And here is their model of a three axle note of own trailer. As you would hope for, it seems to have the main working functions of the real trailer. And the larger scale means it's nice and robust, with plenty of detail too. So there seems to be an interesting trend towards 1 to 32 scale models. And Marge Models will also be making Volvo FH16 tractors. It's always nice to meet other diecast collectors at the Toy Fair. Over at the WSI stand, it seems wrong to describe things as boring. So we're on the stand of Worldwide Scale Industries, and if you didn't know what that stood for, that's, uh, that's WSI, and I'm with Henry from WSI. Henry, what can you tell us about um, this model first of all, which is the Volvo A60H? This model we recently delivered to Volvo and also to the collectors. And I have to say, it's up so far one of the best models we ever sold. Within 30 minutes, we sold 500 pieces. So yes, we are pretty proud on this item and project. There is a lot of functions on the model, um, where I think the collectors will like it, of course. Yeah. One of the main features we did is, I think more on the bottom, if you look to the axles, we made a nice gadget. So it oscillates. And it also, we make some suspension on it. So yeah. It's a nice model. It's a nice functional model. So this is the second model you've done for Volvo. So this, right. this is um, this is looking good. I think that you hopefully will have a long-term relationship with them. That's what we're aiming for, of course. Okay, that's good. So this one's almost well. It's been available, and um, no doubt there's a second one coming coming soon. Yeah. Okay. These look interesting, Henry. These are new uh, models that you've made for Palfinger. That's correct. Uh, we made four new models for Palfinger for the shop. You see now the two of them, uh, these items. Um, as it will look at this moment, they're still on the way, and we hope to deliver these to Palfinger uh, somewhere in March. Okay, and they're like the, the hook arm uh, skips, aren't they? So that they, the whole thing comes off. As you can see, maybe you can try it also yourself. You can take it off, you can do everything with the model. I will show you otherwise. I don't want to break it. No. It will not break, it's WSI. That's okay, hear what you say. We're convinced. No, but it's a good quality product we make. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of functions. Yeah. Where you, it's just like the real machine. And yeah. Yeah, we are proud that we have made this for Paul thing. Yeah, so these, these will be uh, quite interesting because you'll be able to do these in lots of different colors and so on. That's the uh, reason why we started the project. Yeah, so that's nice. It's nice to see another new Notaboom trailer. Which one is this, uh, Henry? This is the new Notaboom Mega trailer, uh, which we started with development. As you can see, this is the first prototype. Uh, we hope that it will be finished uh, somewhere at the end of this year. And okay. we can have them also in the Notaboom uh, red line. Okay, and it's an extendable trailer. The function yeah. is it's extendable, the steering axle. This one I think we saw last year in the, in the usual grey plastic prototype uh, form, but it actually looks like it's finished now. That's correct. Um, the trailer has been finished just before Christmas. We had our first client liveries. And this is uh, the next one in line, which will come out on short notice. I think delivery time beginning March, it will be available. And there are yeah, many different options. This is the two plus three. We've got a, a one plus two. There are many different options which we can do with this chassis. And you, you've already made one or two of these, uh, but they seem to be sold out quite quickly again. They were almost pre-sold already. Uh, yeah. it's, we, we, we didn't expect that there would be such a good sales uh, items. So this is the kind of show-stopping model for you this year, I suppose. That's for sure. Um, so, looks like a, it looks like an excavator. You may not get again. <laughs> it is, of course. It's one of the biggest or bigger ones in the Leaper range. It's the Leaper R 9150. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are working uh, on the model very hard at this moment because these models are needed in France on the Intermet. Okay, so they're not that far away then if uh, they'll be 
two, three months away. Two, three Hopefully. months, so we have to do uh, hard working, but I'm sure we can achieve it. Yeah. Well, you certainly did a very good job with the Volvo model, so um, hopefully we'll see the same again. And looking at it here, uh, the detail level looks very good. Thank you very much. This is also what a lot of people, uh, collectors also say, that uh, they say it's a very beautiful model uh, as it looks at it is, as it is. Yeah. Most collectors will prefer die-cast metal to the kind of plastic that WSI sometimes uses. To be honest, we also prefer the die cast, but nowadays, with the prices of the raw material, maybe it's a good option to reinvent something new. No, not a good option. No, this, this, this really looks like it'll okay. be a great model, so no. thanks for showing it to us. You're welcome. So that's our quick look at the Toy Fair 2018. And next year things should be more interesting with it being a Bauma exhibition year.